Namaste. Welcome back to tutorial series on Super Pro Designer for Beginners. In the previous videos, we understood how to register pure components, how to register stock mixtures, and we have developed the process flow sheet and initiated the streams as well as operations which is required to carry out the process. In this lecture, let us see how to solve the material balances and generate various reports available in Super Pro Designer and analyze those results. In the previous lectures, we have developed this particular flow, process flow sheet and we have uh, added all the streams and operations. In this video, let us see how to solve this material balance. In, once you initiate all these things, you can notice here there are two buttons are available. One is for solve material and energy balance. You can see the calculator symbol and you can see the dollar symbol. This will help us to perform the economic calculations. So this we will look into it later. Now if you click on the solve material and energy balances, you can notice. So at the bottom as per in production, the file name and perform ME balances ended successfully means there are no errors. So we will properly initiated all the streams, all the required data for the simulation is fed into the system. So there are no errors. Now let us see what is the outcome of this production process. So these are all we have already initiated. If you could able to notice, you just double click on this particular stream. You just click double click on this particular stream. This dialog box opens and whatever we have fed into the stream, we can easily notice it. Otherwise, you can right click on this one. And if you just select the simulation data, again, same dialog box will open. So as I told, we have initiated this input streams. These are the input streams and this is also one input stream, but we didn't give the exact amount required ethanol amount amount of ethanol required there we select it as auto adjust let us see how much amount of ethanol is consumed for washing process and this is the intermediate step so we have not fed any information so software will, will calculate all the information if i double click on this one you can notice this is the mic reaction mixture so in this reaction mixture what are all there Acetic acid is there, one of the byproduct. Acetic anhydride is a reactant. Aspirin is the product. H3PO4 as a catalyst, so it is not consumed. It will uh, again uh, is coming back in the reaction mixture. Salicylic acid is there and water. So you can notice still 1.2 kg of salicylic acid is left out, and also even acetic anhydride is 21.48 uh, kg of acetic anhydride is left out. Which means that there is still there is a scope. If you can continue carry out the, this process for some more time here the reaction time is only for one hour uh, if i uh, want to simulate it for two hours i can change it means if you want to make the idea of batch reactor is like the as that you keep it for uh, extended time the reaction get consumed so more the you can uh, reaction could be uh, completed but in this case as it is a stoichiometric reaction i have set the percentage conversion as 98 percent so probably this is the maximum con conversion you can set. So either you can play with conversion. So if your uh, reaction uh, conversion is 100%, maybe it can improve further. And uh, if you extend it for some more time, maybe you can expect some more uh, like uh, some amount of salicylic acid and acetic acid may get consumed. So we will let us see we change that. To change the reaction uh, uh, time, you can go to this react operation and this reaction time i'll just set it to 90 minutes i'll set it to 90 minutes and also reaction i will make it 100 percent 100 percent so click ok again we need to perform material balances end it successfully and if you click now so you notice that uh, when it is an 100 percent efficiency um, you can notice there is no salicylic acid now now based on this we can understand that salicylic acid is a limiting reactant still excess acetic anhydride is there but you don't see any salicylic acid let us see we make it 98 percent conversion then what happens so uh, we set it for 90 minutes and conversion is uh, 98 percent 98 percent can we see uh, whether complete salicylic acid is consumed we'll click this and if you notice so again, there is salicylic acid is left out because our conversion is not 100%. That's the reason it is one point. If your conversion is 100%, definitely uh, you can expect the complete consumption of salicylic acid. So even if you leave it for two hours, I don't think there is much progress in the uh, salicylic acid, like much progress in the aspirin production. So this is the constraint. So you can notice 76.69 kg of aspirin is produced. I will go back to the react operation and set it as 60 minutes click okay so based on the data 
this, this is we have produced almost 76.69 kg of uh, aspirin uh, next further once we fed to the uh, filtration system you, uh, our outcome is this aspirin crystal so we need to know how much aspirin crystals have been produced because we see in the problem statement it is given 98 percent purity it means that obviously two percent other constituents are there you can notice acetic anhydride and uh, acetic acid is not there in this particular stream aspirin is there some traces of ethyl alcohol is there because ethyl alcohol we have continuously washed it so ethyl alcohol obviously be there phosphoric acid is not there salicylic acid is not there some amount of moisture is also available so this is the cake constraints and if you could able to see the filtrate you can notice the acetic acid acetic anhydride all have uh, come in the this filtration stream and also if you could notice this wash stream obviously even whatever the traces of uh, some of the constituents like acetic acid acetic anhydride is also available in this stream and we are interested in how much ethanol is consumed so if you could remember previously we set into auto adjust means software will automatically calculate based on the parameters you fix for example the wash rate you fix how long you want to wash the cake so based on all these parameters the software has calculated and it has consumed almost 252.0913 liters of ethanol so we need to uh, uh, to produce uh, so much quantity of aspirin and to filter and to wash the cake so what are all the ingredients required or raw material required we can easily understand so next so this looks plain this particular process flow sheet looks plain so i want to add the stream information and i want to know what is the equipment const contents so to know what is happening in this equipment right click on this equipment and if you could check the equipment data so this is the equipment data so what are the equipment data what is the reactor volume so there's one more question was asked what is the reactor volume is required to carry out this particular process you can notice maximum volume of this reactor by software they have two options one is called as design mode and rating mode look into it later so now based upon the design mode so maximum value volume available is like you can see it is around 40,000 liter but in this case the required volume is 141 liter of reactor capacity is required and also if you can go to equipment contents click on during the process what is happening yes so all the material balances and you can notice this is the equipment data but look, this is like you can see from starting to end what are all the uh, like raw material or reactants entering at what rate they are entering at what temperature they are entering what pressure they are entering you can notice that you can see here at the start of the temperature uh, start of the process the pressure was 1.013 charge one it is it has kind of increased and you can notice the pressure is continuously increased so because this pressure is closed pressure uh, closed uh, pressure vessel that is the reason uh, as the reaction progress temperature is increasing so i don't want this pressure to increase i want this pressure to be at atmospheric pressure only to do to perform that click ok and you can notice uh, there is an option to add the vent this is by default vent port so i will connect the vent here i'll connect the vent and even filtration unit is also having vent so this adding vent allow to uh, equipment to depressurize it will not get pressurized and also you can make this equipment as open vessel so we will rename this vent stream we will rename this vent stream uh, as there are two vent streams are there i will make it as vent one and uh, this as vent uh, two okay so and we'll set the vent operations charge so i'll start selecting see in this now uh, you can see vent emissions in this vent emissions i will select venting when you select venting and there are two options highlighted one is called as pressure control and open vessel i'll make it open vessel so it is like open vessel it carry out at atmospheric pressure and click next so when i click the particular tab you notice that it is taking me to vent emissions tab in all the venting uh, ones uh, i am not clicking this one because if i click this it goes to first operation of the tab i want the same uh, uh, tab on the next operation so i am just clicking this next one in all the ports I'll try to vent it and make it as open vessel. So vent emission, venting, open vessel. In reactor also, during the reaction also, uh, venting, open vessel. Click next. And venting, 
open vessel click next and uh, venting open vessel click next and here uh, the in hold operation no venting the next one that's the reason you see when i press this button automatically it took me to the first uh, tab next one last transfer out option venting you make it open vessel there are no further operations click ok and even in filtration option you can notice there is a venting so vent emissions venting open vessel and next operation cake washing also venting and open vessel click ok so now if i solve material balance after if you change any uh, thing you need to perform material balance to reflect so now i'll go back to the equipment contents during process p1 if you notice now it has become pressure is constant so we have measure like we converted the closed vessel into open vessel so that the pressure is not increasing in the vessel this is one option yes next very important thing is the streams as i told it is not uh, every time i need to click here to understand how much quantity of the reactants are fed how much quantity of product is obtained but under the view you can yes to to know the con contents and the flow sheet itself two options are available the first option i will show you go to view and under the view option you can see the stream summary table once i select this view stream summary table you can notice at the bottom one more box is appeared but this box is empty so we need to add the streams to this uh, empty box so right click on this box you can go to edit contents edit contents and what and all need to be reflected here in what and all components you are interested so i will select all so you can select one by one you can keep adding here keep on adding one by one here or else you can select this add all so i want to reflect all the tabs here and what are all the contents you need what are all the parameters we need to reflect there stream classification we'll see what is that total mass flow rate temperature pressure liquid to solid i don't want all these things i'll deselect it and click ok you can notice now this information is available you can just drag this and you can notice so all the tabs information is available you can notice type that is stream classification this i will let you know but let us now edit this particular flow, process flow sheet now here it is reflecting so for example 85 percent phosphoric acid is how much is entering and you can notice here it is uh, kind of in an alphabetic order it has arranged that is a number is appeared first and again a b c d like that but i don't want to be like this i want it to be in order then i go back and edit contents and you can rearrange it here first i've added acetic anhydride i'll move it here next i added salicylic acid and uh, further i added 85 percent phosphoric acid and we have uh, the water deionized water and next one is like in when you go to filtrate so the next it comes is reaction mixture out of reactor next we have a uh, reaction mixture and wash uh, wash solution is there then uh, here uh, under the reaction only we can put is this vent option vent one the filtrate is coming so we will move as per into in we'll move as per into because that is our product you can notice i have rearranged it same thing is reflecting here in an order you can notice how much raw material you entered reaction mixture under the vent what is coming out and wash solution how much is taken how much filtrate has come vent to what is available wash waste and aspirin crystal so this is what you have there are a lot of options available the you, when you when you become familiarized with particular software you can start using all these options now i want to show the contents stream contents here only for that one you have to just click on this particular tab right click on this and you can go to style and you can edit style edit style so under this you can select info tax now uh, you can notice there are only name and content comments are available what is this name and content for example i want to this particular edit label you can notice name is there and stream discussion description is there so there is no stream um, uh, content option so that is the reason right click on this one and style edit style you can notice there is something called as info tag when you click on this info tag you can notice this is get activated and also two more tabs are activated and info tag option what and all need to be displayed so i want total mass flow rate i don't want if you add all these things it become too much messy on the flow sheet so i want only mass flow rate i'll click on mass flow rate and location where do we need to place this info tag you can notice that for example here 
uh, vertical near uh, the vertical so near source this is the vertical this is the source and this is the destination this is the destination i am moving the cursor here this is the destination and this is the source so now i will click vertical near source and middle and click ok when you click ok you can notice it is appearing here in, in the, close to the source and in the middle you can notice that 64.95 kg is available same thing you can do it for all so right click edit style and uh, select info tax and info tag option total flow rate where do you want to place it as it is a horizontal one there is no vertical here horizontal one so it is showing below i want it on over here i want it on over and here it is showing horizontal horizontal near source so I, either i want it here or at the destination i want it at the source click ok you can notice it is appearing so if you want this both are same i can do one thing i no need to set up everything just i click on this one pick style pick style and again i'll select here go to style and apply style you can notice i didn't set up again everything so previous style i already set up i copy that and i put it here again this looks same so i will just copy this one pick up style and apply to this particular string you can notice same thing i will apply to this particular one and i will apply to this also like wash solution so this is little comes here. i will just edit style and info tag and near the source near the destination i will select can edit everywhere you can edit it i'll select this particular pickup style up style I apply to this one also so apply to this particular stream apply to this particular stream uh, it is now little close to this one i can edit i can go edit style it is near the destination I'll make it at the bottom click okay it has moved now and uh, we did, i'll select this particular option pick up style and i apply here so you can notice now you can visualize so what is happening in all the like how much it is entering how much is exiting you can also add how much reaction mixture is available style uh, apply style you want it at the destination edit style info tag near the destination click ok you can notice this is the reaction mixture anytime if you want to edit the elbows also you can edit it for example uh, it is it too close i want to edit it you can just move this particular one automatically you can notice this get extended for example you want to change this one you cannot just drag like that so right click on that there is an option edit elbow in this if you want to change definitely you can change add all these changes could be made this is how you are going to uh, add the stream summary in the flow sheet itself and also using text you can add the problem statement itself and also uh, other like uh, even flow sheeting you can add the inputs and outputs that is info tax could be added so i i hope uh, you understood how to uh, perform the material balance and how to uh, make it clean and neat your particular process flow sheet so that it is easy for anybody to understand now you, you give this particular flow process flow sheet to anyone they can easily understand because problem statement is also there process flow sheet is there stream summary is there so that they can duplicate this particular problem thank you